Hi there. If you are experienced with Element Kit, then a great update is coming for you. Or if you haven't used it yet, then what are you waiting for? Element Kit always come up with some important updates, but this time it's bigger. It has added a new feature called Widget Builder. Using it, you can make your own widget with some few steps. You'll also get the experience of writing code and implementing ideas having no deep coding experience. Here in this video, I'll demonstrate how you can use Widget Builder and make your one widget with some few steps. Before getting into Elements Kit Widget Builder, let's know how to install Elements Kit plugin and activate in your WordPress. To do this, from the left sidebar, click Plugins, Add New. And after that, in the search box, search Elements Kit. And there you'll find Elements Kit plugin by WP Met. Install the plugin and activate. I've already installed it in my WordPress, so I'm not going to do this for twice. After the successful installation process, you will find Elements Kit menu in the left sidebar. Click there, go to modules, and make sure Widget Builder is enabled. In order to show you how Elements Kit Widget Builder works, I'll take this button design from CodePan and transform it into Elementor widget and you'll also have a bit of idea how simple it is. It's time to create a widget. To do this, from Elements Kit, go to My Widgets. And after that, click Add New. And from the left side, you'll find widget title and widget icon. I'm giving the widget title as custom button and choosing an icon as stop. You can choose any icon you want, then click save. And the category I'm keeping as basic. And after that, click save. Now let's see the output. Open any page with Elementor Page Builder and there you'll find custom button in the group of basic category. You can also search with your widget name for my case, is custom button. Now, let's implement our button design into our widget. I'll copy all the HTML code to HTML section and all the CSS code into our CSS section. After that, let's remove the unnecessary CSS. Click save and again go back to your page and refresh the page. After refreshing the page, drag and drop your button on your page and you will see this button is working. What if you need to change this hover text and the button color dynamically? In this case, you need to add control into it. Now, let's see how to add control. Go back to your widget page, click this icon and after that you'll find all the available control that you will need. For my case, I want to change this hover text. So, I'll add the text control drag and drop the control and on the right side you can see there is a variable. I'm changing my label name as name and the name as button in. Alright, in the right side you can see this variable name has changed according to this name. I'm removing this hover text Make a bit of a spacing between the starting and the closing tag and then click this variable. After that, click save, go back to your page and refresh it. Then you'll find this hover text has changed into some text. The some text is the default name of the button. Let me show you. There you'll find default value as some text. Let's change it into custom. Again save it and go back to your page and refresh the page. Now you have understood how the default value work. Now let's change this default value dynamically. Click on the widget and there you'll find name. Let's change it as hover once again 
and you can see the text is changing dynamically. Now let's quickly add another color control that's going to help us to change the color of the button dynamically. In order to do this, again go back to your widget page and search color and there we'll find the color control. Drag and drop the color control into this style tab. Alright, after that you will find another variable called color. This is according to the name. If you change here, this color will also be changed that I showed you recently. Alright, so in order to change the background color of the button, what you need to do, we need to add an inline CSS into this button tag. Okay, so to do this, uh, you need to type style, then background color is going to be this variable. Done, then click save, go back to your front page and refresh the page. After refreshing the page, click on your widget, go to style and there you will find the color option that will help you to change the color dynamically. So click on the color and choose a color and I can see the color is changing. Now you might need to change the button color on hover or you don't want to use inline CSS. Let's see how Elements Kit Widget Builder help you in this case. Go back to your widget page and there you will find a new option called CSS selectors. Click add item. After that you will find two boxes. In the first box you need to provide your selector name and in the second box you need to provide your property and the value. Let's create a selector. Here you can see in the button we have given inline CSS. We need to get rid of everything and provide a selector name. I'm using a class right now. I'm giving the class name as button hyphen CLR. After that, again come back to the CSS selector and provide your selector name dot button hyphen CLR. Now we have to provide the value and the property. As we want to change the background color, so our property would be background color. And the value should be inside two curly braces. Make sure you type the name in uppercase. Save it and go back to your front page and refresh the page. After refreshing the page, click on your widget, go to style tab and there you'll find a new option called color. From here you can choose any color you want. Now let's change the button color on hover. In order to do this, again go back to your widget page and search color. You'll find the color control, drag and drop and change the label name. I'm giving it as color hover. Now you can see there is a notice the color is duplicated. That means you cannot duplicate the name. So I'm changing as color hyphen button. All right, now it's time to work with CSS selectors. Click at item. After that, give a CSS selector name. We have already created our selector as dot button hyphen CLR. Now, as we want to change the color on hover, we need to specify colon hover. And after that, we need to work with the property and the value. Our property would be background color. And the value is colon double curly braces value. Save it and go back to your front page and refresh the page. After refreshing the page, click on your widget, go to style tab and there you will find a new option, color hover. Alright, now let's change the color hover. I'm applying red color and you can see when I hover on the button, the color changes to red. So this is how the Elementor widget builder will help you to create widget very fast and very easily without having no deep coding experience. 
please stay with us we will keep you posted about everything and thank you for watching this video